Hey loves, what's up one? What's good? What's popping? Welcome back to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much to all of you who have been subscribing. And if you're new, thank you so much for tuning in. So today's video, I'll be talking about mental fatigue, what it is and how to deal with it or overcome mental fatigue. So let's jump right into it. First, I want to tell you what mental fatigue is, and it is also called mental exhaustion. Mental exhaustion can happen to persons who experience long-term stress. It can make you feel overwhelmed and emotionally drained and make your responsibilities and problems seem impossible to overcome. So we all know that stress is, it's normal to feel stressed sometimes because there are so many things happening in our lives and sometimes we feel so overwhelmed and we get stressed. Being stressed is not necessarily mental exhaustion unless it is long-term stress. So long-term stress is what we're looking at here because of course it is normal for during our day-to-day -day activities for us to feel stressed at some point in our life or some point in the day. But when we have mental exhaustion, we are constantly stressed for a long period of time. This may sort of cripple us, so we are not doing what we need to do. It's hard to do even the simplest of things, maybe brushing your teeth, combing your hair. You are so exhausted, you are so stressed that even the simplest task seems so difficult and everything just starts piling up. So these are some of the concepts consequences of mental exhaustion are some symptoms that may indicate that you know what you may be mentally exhausted because physically you're okay you got enough sleep you should have enough energy but because of your mental state you aren't able to do what needs to be done to function normally so that is what we call mental exhaustion and that is the medical term but we usually just call it burnout so if you're burns out, you have been working so hard, you feel very stressed or there are a lot of things that's on your mind, a lack of motivation, you don't want to go to work, you don't want to do, as I said, even the simplest things, you don't want to shower, you don't want to leave the house, you become reclusive or you just stay by yourself, you don't want to see your friends. So all of these are symptoms that you're exhausted. Probably not physically, but just your mental state. You're not at the place where you can participate in those things because of long-term stress. So how do you overcome this? How do you deal with it? How do you fix your mental fatigue or your mental exhaustion? The first thing that you need to do is find the source of this problem. What is causing this long-term stress? What in my life is making me feel so down what is causing me not to be able to operate as usual so some of the top causes of mental fatigue are high pressure work environments like work environments and if you're not working school sometimes school can be very pressuring with all of those exams it will really stress you out <laughs> and one thing that i found that really stressed me out at one point was the high pressure work environment i was working in a customer service industry and i wouldn't say just that was the cause of my mental fatigue but I was also doing another job. So I was doing two jobs at once. So when I left one job, I was doing the other. If I wasn't doing one job, I was doing the other. So I quickly realized that I was feeling unmotivated. All of a sudden, I didn't want to do either of them because I was so stressed out all the time. I was always thinking about work. I didn't have any time for myself. So it really caused me to feel down and I had to sit down and realize that the reason I felt this way is because I'm working so much and something has to give. And I've been seeing this trend of videos going around. I don't dream of labor and I can totally understand because people are quitting their jobs left, right and center. And I don't think it's really the job that is the problem, but it's the mental fatigue that is caused by working so hard and not having a work-life balance. And I've realized how important that is to me to have a balance of work and just things that I enjoy doing. Because if I'm just working all the time and I don't make time for myself, I'm going to be burnt out. 
and I will make drastic decisions. So in that case where I was working two jobs, I had a full-time job and a side hustle, I quit my full-time job. I'm like, nope, peace peace out <laughs> and I was there for a couple of weeks and I'm like this is not going to work for me I'm not going to sacrifice my mental health it's not worth it I'm going to try with something else and yeah I ended up getting another job a couple of weeks after that wasn't as demanding not so much pressure on me that made me feel terrible because one thing about me I'm always going to choose my mental health my mental well-being and it goes for you if you are experiencing mental exhaustion and you figure out what it is that is causing it. It may not be the same thing as me, which was a high pressure work environment. It may be something else for you. Walk away from it. Walk away from it or at least take a break. But before you just say like peace out or I'm done with this, I don't think this is going to work and it's best for my mental health that I stop. Try taking a break first to see if that helps. Reduce the number of hours you're putting into that thing, whether it be work or school. Try to get some me time. See if that gives you peace and, and that helps you to feel better and lowers your stress. If it is not, then you probably need to find a different route, maybe find a different course at school to study, maybe find a different job if it is your job that is causing you mental fatigue. So I've often seen conversations where people put two situations together, like it's rich but sad or poor but happy. And I've seen a lot of people say, oh, rich but sad, I'll cry in the Bentley or I'll cry in the Rolls Royce. To me, this rich but sad, happy but poor, it's like saying make more money but you're sad or make less money and you're happy honestly i will pick the second one i rather make less money and be happy because if i'm making all that money and i'm burnt out i cannot enjoy it because of all that mental exhaustion and mental i'm not saying that a lot of money equates to being burnt out i said it depends on how you feel. I already told you about the symptoms, how to know if you're mentally exhausted. This is long-term stress because rich people get stressed, poor people get stressed, but the long-term stress, if you're stressed all the time and you know that the reason you're stressed is this job, but it's paying you six figures, but you don't want to leave because of the money, you're choosing the money <laughs> instead of being happy. And I would much rather live a simpler life, downgrade, and just have that peace of mind instead of that mental exhaustion and burnout. And I believe that burnout can be addressed, but you have to choose your poison. You have to choose whether the burnout is really worth it. And I doubt it is. Unless it is for a short term, you have some people who will work really hard in a short span to make a certain amount of money, but they're not going to do it all the time. If that is your choice, then okay. After a while, as long as you can get to relax and unwind, but if you're constantly in that mental exhaustion state, it will get worse. So I believe that we really need to address our mental health and really be mindful of the mental state that we're in and analyze our lives see what is causing the problems what is the source of the problem that is the best way to deal with mental fatigue you identify the source of the stress and eliminate it you get rid of it and not a lot of people can afford to make less money i mean depending on their lifestyle if they leave that job that they're earning a six-figure salary their life will fall apart or they don't know what the next step would be so as i said it's not like you're doing it cold turkey you might need to take a vacation if you haven't used that up use your sick days because having problems with your mental health is still sickness because you're not able to function as normally so use up those days take a break this is the best way to eliminate stress getting rid of the problem and i know i've been really focusing on school and jobs but i know as adults this is one of the main things that causes our stress maybe it is not the job but it is 
for example, the opposite. So maybe it is that you're not making enough money. So it is the bills that are stressing you. So it really depends on your specific situation. You have to sit down and evaluate what is causing me to feel so stressed all the time. I'm having headaches. I'm binge eating. Could it be that I am mentally exhausted? Could it be that I'm experiencing burnout? I don't have any motivation to do anything. Could it be that I'm burnt out? What is the source of the problem? How can I fix it? Can I get rid of it? If I can't get rid of it, what can I change so that this is no longer a problem? If the source of your problem is something that can be shared, meaning that, let's say, what's causing your burnout is that after work, you have to come home and do 100 things. If you have a partner, you could speak to him and ask him for help. Say, hon, I'm not feeling very well. I'm very stressed off from work. Can you help me with cleaning? Can you help me with the kids? Or if you have kids that are at an age where they can also help out, you say, listen, you're going to need to do the dishes more often. You're going to need to clean more often because that can also help you by sharing the responsibilities, sharing the load. Another thing that can help to alleviate the stress or the burden, just doing something that is so relaxing that helps you to unwind and not think about what is causing you the stress. As I said before, you can take a break. The break doesn't have to be an actual break, but the break can be doing something that you enjoy that takes your mind off of that stress. So playing some video games, maybe trying something new, doing something that is your hobby, whether it is exercising, whatever it is that you like, you go do some exercise, just anything that will take your mind off of that. Do whatever it is you like, go to the beach, have a relaxing day. Yes, those are some things to consider. So if none of what I suggested doing would work for you, if you can't eliminate the stress, you're going to have to learn how to deal with it. And I cannot tell you how to deal with it. For that, you will have to seek professional help, whether it be a counselor, a therapist, a psychiatrist. You'll have to see someone to talk to them about it and they will help you to cope with your specific situation. Since you really can't do anything to get rid of that stress, it is always there. You'll need to seek professional help. So guys, I really hope you found this video helpful. Let me know if you've ever experienced mental fatigue. What did you do to overcome it if you did? And what do you think is the main cause of mental exhaustion, burnout, or mental fatigue, whatever it is that you call it? Let me know in the comment section down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.